I have a baggy shirt. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. I have a Rams. It's not baggy. I mean, normal, normal clothing. Look at that. All right. Normal clothing. Nothing on me. Nothing. But this tyranny is gonna end. He, he, he tried to save it. He, he kind of saved it a little. But we're still gonna. This shit's gonna end. Can I back up? You stop, bro. Say it. All right. What was your partner's name? The, uh, the one over there? I didn't hear him. Yeah, I'll go ask him that. Hey, Tyrant. What was your name? And your badge number? One five seven eight three. All right, man. Hey, you're gonna be hearing from me, bro. You're gonna be hearing from me. Stepped out into the street. That's not pedestrian roadway. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I'm getting arrested, guys. Why am I getting arrested? Out into the street. And? That's pedestrian roadway. Pedestrian and roadway. You have to be walking alongside the roadway. Wow. I'm getting arrested, guys. Then a controversial traffic stop of a black and Latino army officer in December has been fired. Body camera footage shows Windsor, Virginia police officers Joe Gutierrez and Daniel Crocker pointing their guns at Army 2nd Lieutenant Karan Nazario before Gutierrez pepper sprays him. Lieutenant Nazario was released without being charged and he is now suing both officers. CBS News correspondent Christina Ruffini has the story. What's going on? How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? The door slowly. Step out. Get out. Get out of the car. Get out. In body camera and cell phone video, Army 2nd Lieutenant Caron Nazario, still in his uniform, holds his hands out the window of his new car, while two Windsor, Virginia police officers, guns drawn, order him to get out. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Get out. Yeah, you should be. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, please. Get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. I didn't do anything. Don't do that. Sir. Nazario repeatedly asks why he's been pulled over before ex-officer Joe Gutierrez pepper sprays him through the open window. Sir, just get out the car. I'm trying to breathe. Ugh. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right get now. Get out of the car. Nazario is then kicked, forced to the ground, and put in handcuffs. Why am I being treated? The incident report says Nazario was pulled over for not having tags displayed on his SUV. But the temporary dealer plate is visible in the officer's body cam video. The report also said officers treated it as a high-risk stop because Nazario had tinted windows and drove at a very low speed to a gas station before pulling over. A move Gutierrez later said he understood. As far as you not stopping, and can swear to the what, you want to roll this spot? Because that happens all the time. He did everything that we are told to do to, to, for everyone's sake. Attorney Jonathan Arthur represents Cesario. When you look in your rearview mirror and you see two firearms trained at you, you got to get real calm, real quick, if you want to get out of there alive. You know, it's a credit to his training. What are you, a specialist, Corp? What are you? According to the lawsuit, the officers also threatened to derail Nazario's military career if he pursued further action against them. If you want to just chill, let this go, and no charges filed, we'll take the handcuffs off, we'll get your bottle of water to drink on, and sit here until you feel comfortable driving. Now, after that search of his vehicle turned up no violations, Nazario was released without charge. The governor of Virginia has asked state police to investigate the incident. CBS News reached out to the Windsor Police Department. We did not hear back. Anthony Nazario's attorney said he wanted to file the lawsuit to hold these two officers accountable. And so these kinds of stops stop happening. Christina Ruffini, thanks, Christina. Wow. I mean, I can't imagine pulling into a gas station and suddenly facing a couple of guys with guns looking pointed in your window. But this is the thing, guys. He was calm the whole the time. time. Yeah. And he was calm. It. They weren't. He's in uniform. And when they said he drove at a low rate of speed, that should show. The chief's giving me discretion on how to handle it. He's like, these are the two choices. I said, that's what I was thinking. That's what I want to do. He's like, not a problem. We can either let it go, help him out, get his eyes back, and get him on down the road so the so army doesn't get involved. Or we could charge you and then they pass it for you. It doesn't change my life one way or the way. You see what I'm saying? It's not about me. This is about you. What you want to do. If, if, if you want to just chill, let this go, and no 
charges filed. We'll take the handcuffs off, get your bottle of water to drink on, and sit here until you feel comfortable driving. All right? Or the other option is we write the summons, just charge you, have, and we, by then we have no choice. We have to notify your command. Again, I've got, I don't have to be an ass. I don't have to be threatening. Uh, I say that because that's just the way it is. Okay? I just talked to my boss. Those are the two choices that he gave. As a veteran who served, okay, I did my I did six years before. My wife's a retired sailor. She retired as a uh, E8 out of the Navy. Okay, I don't want to see you get jammed up by the army. Okay, I don't want to see it happen. You need to spit. Just let us know. Go ahead and spit. I, we've both been sprayed, so we know what it's like. It sucks. If you need to spit, go ahead and spit. Yeah. You're not going to offend us. Good. All right. Um, what do you want to do, Kevin? I'll let you tell me because. I mean, no, nobody's going to ask for charges, so you know, I'm not going to ask for that. I understand that. However, I have to make that option available to you, right? I mean, I, I, mean, I have to. So here's what I want to do. Especially as, as, as calm as you've been since everything ended, I'm going to take the handcuffs off, let you sit here with smoke. We'll sit here and wait with you. Let your eyes come back. Take us take it takes you anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, depending on how much action we got in the eyeball itself, before you can really see well enough to drive, especially at night, okay? We'll sit here with you, and then we'll get you on down the road. And the command won't know nothing about it. All right? I, ha I do have a good rapport with my command, so I wouldn't feel right not talking to them okay. about it, so well, I, that's I, the time I, I, I I'll put it this way then for you. They're going to hear from you. They will not hear from us. I'll give you that much respect, okay? Because I understand. I told you, I was in for six years. It's always better for a man to hear from you than somebody else. Especially the law. That's never a good thing. Go ahead, let's hope. I don't want to talk to you a little bit. Okay? I get it, okay? I get it. The plan that we're in right now, I get it, okay? The plan that we're in, the the media is skewing with the race relations between minorities and law enforcement, I get it, okay? So like I told you, as far as you not stopping and can swear to the what, you want to well this spot? Because that happens at all times. It happens to be a lot. And it's, it's I would say 80% of the time, not always, 80% of the time, it's a minority. And I just don't get it. 